Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Sam, helping you get closer to great skin days. Today, I'm talking about Bakuchio, or Bakuchio. I mean, no one's really sure exactly what you call this ingredient, but the thing is, it's very exciting. It's a plant extract, which will appeal to all you guys out there who like the idea of natural skincare, but it has surprising activity. Um, so it's been likened to retinoids, um, it's called a plant alternative to retinol, and I think what's really interesting, it's really the first natural ingredient that I am properly excited by, and I suppose that's because there's now some decent quality data supporting its actions in the skin, in real people, and we're starting to understand the process by which it achieves these kind of results. So, the paper of note that has struck me is the one published in the British Journal of Dermatology, which is a respected journal, and it was comparing Bacuccio, which is derived from the plant Cerelia corylfolia, that's a big mouthful, um, somewhere in South America, um, and Bacuccio 0.5% twice a day was compared with retinol 0.5% used at night, as retinoids tend to be. In a group of 50 women over the age of 47 who were concerned with the appearance of photo damage or sun damage. And they looked at its performance compared to retinol over the course of 12 weeks. And they were delighted to find that it was found to be as effective as retinol at improving the appearances of sun damage at things like fine lines and wrinkles, texture, skin brightness, and evenness of skin tone but with less irritation and notably no photosensitivity. Um, so how is it achieving these remarkable gains? So uh, what it's likened to is a functional analogue of retinoids, which basically means that when you apply it to skin, it switches on the same genes that you see whenever retinoids are applied to the skin. And in terms of anti-aging, what that means is it's bolstering the dermis by increasing the integrity of the extracellular matrix, which is essentially your collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid, the scaffolding, if you will, that provides skin thickness. Um, we always say that youth lies in the dermis. So switching on genes that improve the quality of that scaffolding structure is going to make a big difference to how your skin looks. The next exciting thing is its impact on skin pigmentation, which we're almost as concerned about these days as we are about fine lines and wrinkles. Um, there really isn't anyone whose skin isn't improved by making their skin more even toned. And I think that the tolerability that goes along with using this active is really um, appealing because it means it's going to help improve pigmentation, not only potentially on the face, but also on the neck and chest, which are real areas of concerns and are frequently cause for a little bit of neglect. We're very good at looking after this, but oftentimes, particularly when you've worked hard on your face, there starts to be quite a big discrepancy in the quality of the face versus the chest and neck. So a gentle yet effective way to anti-age these areas is of great interest, certainly to me and my patients. So what else does it do? It helps with acne as well. So very interestingly, it seems to be a bit like a retinoid in that it doesn't just affect one part of the acne process, it affects potentially all four steps. So right from comedone formation through to oil buildup to inflammation and to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, it's thought to have an impact on all those individual steps and in one study was found to be more effective than 2% salicylic acid in terms of blemish reduction, which is really quite significant. It's easy to formulate in combination with other active ingredients. We put it into nightly serum that sits very happily alongside niacinamide and azelaic acid, which is very exciting. Um, and, you know, I think it's something we're going to see a lot more of. So a lot of the benefits of retinoids, a lot less of the irritation, and really quite an exciting way for you guys to start your active skincare routine, particularly if you're worried about pigmentation. I hope that was helpful.